job, it was like I wasn't going to have any money. And that job was just my security blanket. But sometimes you got to jump out there and you have to take life by, you know, you have to take life for what it is and you have to take chances and you have to sacrifice. So, again, I started working on my own, my first client. Um, I charged them $18 an hour and I got $846 a week. Okay, I was like, dang, $846 a week. I was like, I like that. You know, we have money. You know, we can pay bills and we can pay bills. And we could pay bills, but we couldn't pay nothing else. So, again, I was still in the mentality of, man, I need to find a job. You know, I need to go get some food stamps. You know, I need to get some medical because, for one, I can't pay. I can't take care of my kids if I don't have no job, being that I was still working this 47 hours a week. So that means I didn't see my kids until after 6 o'clock every day. So by the time I came home from work, I was tired. My kids were cranky. You know, my husband needed attention. You know, still had to cook food. And by then, I was tired. I wanted to go to bed. So then I tried it out. I said, I'm going to hire me a girl. And I'm going to let her work this shift. And I'm going to see how it works out. Well, I hired a girl and, you know, it kind of went good. And, you know, she would go to work every day and I'd pay her, you know, her little hourly wage. And I thought I was doing something. So, I told my husband, I was like, I think it's time to start our own business. He was like, well, go for it. Well, I was, again, I was still like, oh, I need to I need to get a job going on the side because, you know, what if the client passes away or, you know, what if I lose the client? I kept thinking the negative. And you know what they say, the, the law of attraction, whatever you put out in the universe, it comes back to you. So I had to keep telling myself, um, you don't need no job. You don't need no job. My husband kept saying, don't be a slave to the employment. Don't be a slave to employment. Um, so, again, we started marketing, and the second client came in. But the second client came in um, to the first client. They, they referred me to the, to the client. So, I, you know, I got the other client, and then that client referred me to someone else. And then I didn't have enough girls to work, so I'm working double, and I'm working this girl over time. It was two girls working three shifts. And then I was like, we got to do it. So then I got my LLC. Um, for those who don't know, yes, you do have to have an LLC in order to call yourself a business. You just can't say, oh, I have a business without having a business license. Um, and then, let's see, the business, the LLC, and then, then my second thing was, um, I wanted, you know, I kept telling the clients that I had a business, but I didn't have no business name. So that's where the LLC came in. And then when they were paying me, they were paying me in my name. And I said, well, that's not really how businesses work. So we got our business account. So that was our second step. Um, And then it was almost like, okay, I felt like I was a, a company. So then I got more clients. And then I had to hire more girls. and. And, and that's where I am today. So I just kind of wanted to tell that little scenario about, you know, don't underestimate yourself. Um, I think I've spoken with a couple of the ladies and they all ask questions about, you know, how do I get started? Um, I think one of the young ladies, actually, she's on the call, um, was saying she had meetings with the, the mayor and a lawyer and all those things. You do not need that stuff to start a business. Okay, just depending on the state that you live in, some states don't even require that you have a license to have a home health agency, okay? So make sure that you are checking your state laws. That is very important um, because the other home health agencies are not going to tell you this information because they don't want the competition. So make sure, for one, you have your LLC, that you are getting your business license, that you are checking your laws, that you are checking your laws um, for your state. Again, some states do not require, I know Ohio does not require you to have a license to run a home health agency. Um, 
And all this information that I'm giving you is in the business in the box. The business in the in the box is, um, and some of you ladies already have this, all of that information is what I use every day to run my business. That is from hiring client, um, hiring employees to uh, meeting new clients to doing my marketing, um, um, running, you know, just my everyday business tools that I use. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about um, some expenses and things that I um, that I know that you need to to have to run your business. Um, for one, you have to have a bond. Now, a bond is your surety bond, which is a dishonesty bond. <clears throat> that means that if any any of your employees come into someone's home and they take something from there, um, that bond covers you up to, I think our bond is up to $300,000. Now, hopefully, you know, I, I, and again, you, I mean, you know, you want to be able to trust your young ladies. Um, hopefully nobody has anything open that's three hundred worth $300,000. Um, again, your liability insurance, oh, excuse me, the bond, our bond for Maryland is $250 a year. So, um, The bond is two hundred and fifty dollars a year. So people think all this stuff costs a lot of money. It really doesn't. And then you have to have your liability insurance. Um, the, the liability insurance that we have um, is two thousand two hundred and two dollars a year. But all of these people have payment options. So you don't have to come out of the pocket with the full two thousand dollars. I think we put seven hundred and twenty dollars down and we pay one hundred and sixty four dollars a month for that. Also, um, your workers compensation. That is um, one thousand one hundred and seventy six dollars that we pay. And there we I think we had to put um, you can either do half down and then pay one more payment or you can do um, they have additional options as well. Also, um, I'm getting some inboxes in my, excuse me, let me just pause for a second. I'm getting some questions in my inbox. If you could just ask the questions on in the group as well. Um, several people are asking how much the um, business in the box it is. That is 197 um, as of now. And it's hundred and ninety seven dollars okay also um we do use um i mean i have several i have about i have about twenty three clients that I have now um I kind of charge my clients based on the client's needs now, just like if you were working in an agency, the people would um kind of pay you per case um, so I charge anywhere between eighteen to twenty two dollars an hour, and I start all my girls off at nine dollars an hour. It doesn't matter what experience you have um, some okay, let me just back that back cut a little bit. Just Care Hands is a non medical home care agency, so there is a difference between a home care agency and a health care agency. Home care agency again is non medical and then the home health agency is medical, so you get a little bit more into um, your, heavy lift, your heavy lifting, your bedridden patients. You know, they have physical therapists coming in there. Um, I am not, I am on the non-medical side, so none of my clients are heavy. None of my clients are hard. Most of my clients are companion care, light housekeeping, medication reminders, just your basic companion care Um Clients. Now, I do have some clients that, you know, need to get transferred, and again, those are the clients that I would charge $22 an hour. Because um, you, you kind of want to think about, you want to make sure that you are affordable. Um, my slogan is private, affordable, in-home elder care. When people, when people see that private, it kind of separates you from, um, and I'll just say um, Bright Star, for example. It kind of just separates you from the big companies to um, to the little companies, because for one, the big companies are not private, and they have a set rate that they cannot go underneath 
if they do, they will not make any money off their company. Being that you are starting your own business, for one, you don't have a big overhead. So that means I do I do pretty much everything. I do the scheduling. I do payroll. I visit all the clients. I do I pretty much do everything because I 